welcome back to our Apple Wins channel. This is Tina. Today, I'm going to introduce you some special methods of screen printing to help you better distinguish different type of printing methods. We have made a normal or like a basic screen printing video before. I'll put the links below in the information box. Check it out if you are interested in that video. The type of different special printing methods that we are going to introduce today also belongs to screen printing. So the first one that I want to introduce you is what we call the thick plate printing. Same as the offset printing but with a few more layers. It is thicker with a more three-dimensional effect. Now it's very very popular in the printing market. The second one is called the poof printing. We print the within paint that contains a forming agent to the fabric. Then steam it with a high temperature. The pattern will start to bubble, showing a relief effect. It comes up with two different kinds of presents. The first one is the conventional poof. It looks just like this. There is a poof on the surface. And then the other kind is what we call the sponge poof, and it looks just like this. The third one is the flocking printing. Flocking printing is the printing process which short fiber of rayon, cotton, wool, or another natural synthetic material are applied to an adhesive coated surface. This adds a velvet or suede-like texture to the surface. Since the fiber can be dyed, flocking can also add a different kind of color to the printing area. Next, although I call it the brush printing, but it's really really different from the normal printing, believe me. It is a kind of like a toothbrush, let me find it. It looks just like this. So there's like a toothbrush like on the printing. It combines a normal printing and creates this very very unique effect. The fifth one is the imitation gold printing. It is actually a golden color print on shirt. You might want to ask why not use the gold printing like the normal one because it just sounds like so much better or at least a little bit fancier than imitation. Why imitation? Because imitation gold printing is actually more eco-friendly, more elastic, more stable in the washing process. It is overall much better than the normal gold printing. It looks like this, so this is our imitation gold printing. And also we have the imitation silver printing as well. They are pretty much the same. Number six is our reflective printing. If you did follow us on Instagram and watch our live, you know that we love reflective printing. There are a couple kinds of different reflective printing we have so far. The first one is the normal 3M reflective printing. This kind of reflective printing only reflects uh, in the dark atmosphere and reflects it as a grayish color. But what I really want to introduce to you is the laser reflective printing because this kind of printing uh, not only reflected at night and also reflected in the daytime with a uh, multiple different color. And number seven, it is the silicone printing. This kind of printing, let me show you, is extremely stretchy. So, you like that? And it won't be ruined. It is normally used on the active wear. If you put silicone printing on a garment like a legging, the shape of the pattern will actually change with the people who is wearing it. That is a very funny thing. For example, a uh, bigger size people wearing it, like it will come up with uh, like a bigger pattern, a smaller guy, a small pen. <laughs> the eighth one is actually one of my favorite ones. It is called the temperature sensitive printing. This one is extremely amazing because the color will actually change due to the temperature. Look, this is super cool and it looks just like a magic for me. It's our glitter printing. It is uh, very similar to our basic and normal screen print. But the story is a little bit different. It is full of glitter. So the pattern will be full of glitter. Last but not least, it is what we call the slurry pool printing. I personally we could find a very professional name for this kind of printing, but I just decided to name it as a slurry pool printing. It looks just like this. 
What's special about it? It is because it has a stone or lava like effect. Also, in order to make your printing look better, fancier, more complicated, you can combine different kind of uh, technique. For example, this one, uh, it used the brush printing on the top and then the imitation gold printing right here. And then at the bottom, just the normal printing. So that is everything for today. I hope this video did help you to better distinguish different type of printing methods. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.